Now you're playing with terror. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 horror movies that would make great video games. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be pretending like video game adaptations to movies always work out for the best as we go through the movie nightmares that we'd like to tackle with a controller. We'll only be talking about movies that don't have game adaptations yet, so sorry Freddy, we know you deserve better. <laughs> Also, here's a spoiler warning and a mature content warning. Never leave the deserted cabin without him. Number 10, you're next. How many times have you cursed out the female lead in a horror movie because she spends so much time screaming, running to unsafe areas, and not keeping a hold of that blunt object she found? Aaron is not one of those leads. When a group of masked killers attacks an unsuspecting family, they learn the hard way that Aaron had a rather colorful upbringing. Seriously, who doesn't want a game with a badass female lead who sets traps and takes out her pursuers like a homicidal Kevin McAllister? You could even make it more twisted and award bonus points for the most creative of kills. How are we supposed to know that you were um, really good at killing people? Which is actually sort of weird, by the way. Number 9, Planet Terror. When a go-go dancer loses her leg, she knows to attach a gun to the stump and keep marching on. At least, that's the case in this crazy zombie movie. The town is being overrun by ravenous creatures, kids are shooting themselves in the face for reasons, and there's a rapist to be dealt with. Wait, is that Quentin Tarantino? So why isn't this a video game yet? This could easily be a Dead Rising style gore fest where the humans are just as insane as the undead. Then you could equip the whole mess of weapons in your arsenal to your leg. <laughs> Number 8, Galaxy of Terror. Uh, 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 uh. In space, no one can hear you get sexually assaulted by a worm. That's how the saying goes, right? In order to do this movie any justice as a game, it would have to retain all of its glorious 80s cheesiness. The acting, the effects, especially the effects. Think of it as a low-budget dead space, as a team sets off to an unknown planet where a crew has crash-landed and been killed by strange creatures. Cue a lot of gruesome deaths, overdramatic screaming, a weird plot twist, and some truly bizarre enemies. <laughs> Number seven, they live. What's your problem? I said, what's your problem? Speaking of the 80s, how about a film where a pair of sunglasses reveals who among us is in fact an alien? Our ideal video game adaptation would let us play as the drifter in a wacky Saints Row style game as we uncover the sinister truth. We're being manipulated by extraterrestrials. It would be a game where you couldn't trust anyone, save for Frank, who we'd have to have in some co-op gameplay. Oh, and bubblegum would clearly be how we replenished our health, because how can we kick ass without it? Either put on these glasses, or start eating that trash can. Number 6, The Descent. A group of friends, a cave, flesh-eating creatures, what could possibly go wrong? In our video game scenario, we would play as one of the girls in the group, and the goal would be to, well, you know, survive. This would be a survival horror game where the environment would be crucial. Players would be faced with a seemingly never-ending cave system and its environmental hazards. Of course, there's the crawlers to think about, but that could build into a really cool gameplay mechanic built around sound. Lots of potential here. Lots. Number 5, Rack Series. We are Remember when the found footage, shaky cam style of filming felt kind of fresh? This horror series used it brilliantly to create a real sense of dread as a group of people deal with a nasty virus while being trapped in an apartment building. A video game based on this Spanish horror fest could be a lot like Outlast in terms of mechanics, desperately searching for batteries and relying on your camera's night vision to see what lies ahead. On top of the monstrosities around every corner, we'd have to figure out who we could and couldn't trust in such confined spaces. Number four, Wolf Creek series. Oh, still awake, are you? You know, a man's a real goose, eh? Hey? I mean, took four hours to get those parts out of your car, right? Now the bass of everything's all burnt. What do you think of that? Meet Mick Taylor, a man you definitely don't want to run into if you're ever in Western Australia. He may seem like a friendly face, but it doesn't take long to see his true, torturous intentions. 
Supposedly based on the true events of the Backpack Murders in the late 80s, early 90s, a video game adaptation could have us fighting for our lives, perhaps in a Resident Evil style, where the antagonist is prone to playing sadistic games in a rural landscape. Number 3, Maximum Overdrive. Oh. What the hell? Ah yes, the one and only Stephen King movie that King himself directed. And, well, it's something, I don't know if you've seen it, but it would make a pretty awesome video game. Imagine a game where your enemies are every inanimate object that's been brought to life. Part of us would like to see this done in the corny 80s movie style, complete with a vending machine that goes bonkers and a gaggle of motor vehicles. But we also can't deny how frightening this would be if a video game adaptation took place today. The amount of technology that would turn against us is astonishing, and it would be pretty tricky to come up with a way to fight back. You can't do this! We made you! Number two, Cabin in the Woods. We have a winner! It's the Buckners, ladies and gentlemen! The Buckners pull the W! It was supposed to be a fun cabin getaway, but it ended up becoming a life or death situation against some zombies. Okay, excuse me, zombie redneck torture family. We know there's a difference. This self-aware horror film has so much potential for a video game. Perhaps an Until Dawn style game, where you could keep everyone or no one alive. Each item in that creepy basement would lead to a different threat to face, and the end goal would be to either make it to a hidden facility, or maybe just to make sure that none of the heroes make it out. Either way, we better see some mermen. Oh, come on! Number one, the Purge series. This is your emergency broadcast system, announcing the commencement of the annual Purge, sanctioned by the US government. If, for 12 hours, all crime was legal, what did you do? More importantly, could you survive the night? To us, this would work best as an open world experience, where you basically get to do whatever you want until the Purge is over. Stay indoors and try to protect yourself by securing your home for potential troublemakers, or go outside and cause complete chaos Grand Theft Auto style, minus law enforcement hunting you down. To make things even more interesting, add in some online multiplayer. Sure, you can trust people online, right? May God be with you all. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and subscribe for new videos every day.